Hello everybody. This is Tech Hut, and in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you five, not necessarily hidden, but five task manager features that you might not be aware of, and how to use them, why I like to use them. And some of them are fun, some of them are rather beneficial, some of them just look cool in my opinion. So the first one is messaging other users on your system. So I have Task Manager opened up right here. If you go to the Users tab, you can see all the users on your computer. Obviously, if you don't have other users on this computer, this feature isn't really too beneficial for you, but I do. So I have my account right here, and then I have Jenny. So when you send a user a message, what it will do is it will have a pop-up dialog upon login, kind of what a warning message looks like. So to do that, you simply right-click on the user profile that you want to send a message to, click send message and right here the message title that's what we'll display right here so message from let's just say I wanted to say message from Brandon or you could even say message from admin if you're using this for actual purposes that might you might need to use it for and you could do message so for example under this user tab you can see what's going on in all the users and let's say Jenny was still logged in but not using it and the network connection was being throttled because there's something going on, there's downloads, uploads, something. What you could do is type a message like, let's say, please stop seeding all those torrents. That's just an example that's probably, that's not what's going on, but you, you see the gist of how this can be utilized. So to send that, you just click OK. And I'm not gonna log out and log in, but I'll put a little window right here of what the message looks like when the user will log in. So the next feature is using Task Manager as a kind of a widget view system monitor. Now people download third-party applications all the time to have either a system monitor widget or just something running that isn't this, and this is really all you need. So you see here I have all of my, uh, well all my monitors, these are the preview graphs, and you click you can see the full graphs with more data on what's going on. And to get this to look more like a widget, it's simple. All you do is right click and you click summary view and it will look like this. It might be resized differently for you, but you can resize this as you want. And for example, let's say I'm doing things that are rather resource heavy, such as uh, converting videos to different file formats, rendering, doing 3D editing, anything that takes up a lot of system performance. I'll just pop this, the general task manager, just like this throw it up in the top corner like a widget, and then start running all my processes so I can see what is going on with literally everything on my system. It's beautiful, it does what all those third-party applications can do. Not all of, because some a lot of them will automatically, this won't automatically open up upon startup, it won't go like this automatically. You have to go in, go to summary view, and move it and place it how you want. But if you're somebody who doesn't want that up all the time, but you can benefit from it as needed, this is a great way to do it. Another way, if you just double click, it brings it right back up how it is. Double click small, double click big. You just double click on one of these and it will change it in and out of summary view. Now the third feature is the easy online search. So if you're going to processes, you might be looking through your system, something weird's going on. You know something's running in the background that's either taking up a lot of resources or there's just something you don't know what it is. For example, this comm surrogate. Let's say I had no idea what it was. I could go online and search this up, but there's a super easy way to do that. All you do is right click on it and click on search online. It will open up in your default web browser a search of that exact process. Unfortunately, it does this through Bing because it's Microsoft, it's through Windows, so they want to force Bing upon you. But thankfully, it does open up in your default browser so it doesn't automatically open up an Edge or anything like that. But as you can see, it says dlhost.exe com surrogate. So it'll search the actual ex uh, executable, 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 something, file, and the name of the process. And you could do that with just about anything. So if I go down here, the CTF loader, I could um, do an online search of that. It'll open up over here. Windows CDF loader is a Windows system component, which appeared in XP for the first time. Give you all the information on what's going on. 
and if you have something that is not a Microsoft function, so uh, Java update scheduler, do an online search of that, you can see a search and you can go through and figure out what's going on from here. Now this is not the only place this works if you go to your services. If you go into services you can right click and do the search online as well and then it will tell you what's going on where the actual file is and then you could do what you need to do to figure out what's going on. Now another one of my favorites here let's open up notepad real quick just so we can paste these in if you go over here yeah, let's close this out too yes if you go over to performance you can do right click copy or control C and copying data from one of these modules will copy a wide variety of information from that particular component so the make and model AMD Ryzen 7 the base speed sockets cores and much more with a timestamp of when that's copied and it works for anything available so if I click on memory I make sure that opens up right click copy paste you can see it pasted my memory so I have 32 gigabytes gives you the speed the slots the form factor available cached just everything you need for a general quick snippet this is good for if you're like troubleshooting on a form and you need to share some of this information with somebody quick and easy you go ahead and do that I'll just show you one more example this is drive zero if I copy and paste that on in there you get the model of the drive the capacity uh, the current read write so there's nothing really going on at the moment average response time and that is a great feature now the very last feature I will be showing you is going into the internet area and getting some extra details that you wouldn't really see anywhere else unless if you got a third-party application if you right click on this big summary graph here and go to view network details it will open up a page with a wide variety of additional information about your network the thing I find most important is well you have the exact bytes being sent and receive at any given moment as well as some other connection data and your link speed this is helpful for troubleshooting let's say you had a another device connected to your computer and you were using that as a modem you could use this to troubleshoot the data transfer between the various devices so that's another one now that does not mean that is the only hidden features available task manager is actually quite a large program with a lot of different things that you could do in it I highly recommend you just go through and check everything out um, go to options and you can set different settings if I go under processes again you can change all of this around so you can see more data everything by default is grouped so if there's certain applications or certain uh, processes that go under a certain group they will all be linked together and that's you could change that through the view so group by type then you see it just collapsed everything and then now everything is grouped together so all the Firefox processes everything like that so you can go ahead and check out everything I just talked about on the Tech Hut website you can see I wrote a post here that will go through everything I just discussed and some additional features of this program I do recommend you be careful when you go through this if you're not very familiar with it you might end processes that are kind of important if you have something open that's not saved you might close explore exe which that's not really bad it'll just kind of reset your gui so that is about it thank you for watching i hope you have a great day please comment rate and subscribe comment if you have any concerns if there's any features that you think should have been in this video that did not make it subscribe for more videos like this i upload tech tutorials quite frequently Linux distributions, um, the occasional gaming video here and there. So subscribe, ring that bell, and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye-bye. So the next feature is to have a system, use to add,